What's up, guys? Perplex QT here, aka Laura. So look, we got some issues. It is 7:30 in the morning. I woke up to a ton of text messages, tons, screenshots, you name it. I got it. And I think I just have to say this. Shit needs to stop. As you guys know, I'm loyal to a fault. As you guys know, I stick up for my friends. I'm going to stick up for Steve here. Sage has been on my show many a times, and so is Dayton. And Phoenix, eh, they don't like being on camera. How many times have I said to my kids, I'm going to beat you like a redheaded stepchild? How many times have I said to Sage, well, I'm going to beat you? I would never, even as babies, I would never lay a hand on my child, ever. I never thought that hitting a child, and it, it, you guys will get the point when I'm done, but I never thought hitting a child is going to teach them not to hit. I, was ne I never smacked their butts. I never did anything. I never used a paddle. I was not one of those moms. I always believed that talking to them will get further than ever hitting them. But yet, you hear me joke around with them all the time that I'm going to beat them. Um, I'm going to beat you like a redheaded stepchild. I'm going to smack you across the head. So you're going on hearsay. Anybody can twist that to make it out like I really beat my children. Anybody can twist anything because it's the internet. You can twist who you are. You can twist where you're from. You can say you're from Paris when you're really in Georgia. That's the internet. That's the age of social media that we live in. The problem is you have mob mentality with a lot of different people that think they're judge, jury, and executioner. So they sit up on a panel and they judge, they sit up on a panel, they are the jury, then they sit up on a panel and they're the executioner. No, 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 no. This shit has to stop. Nobody, but nobody has a right to be judge, jury, and executioner. Nobody has a right. If you want to judge, it's your panel. Go right out and judge. You want to be a jury, go right out and be a jury. But you have absolutely no right to be executioner of anybody. And that goes for anybody that does it. I don't care if you're in a side chat. I don't care if you are on panel. You're grown ass women and men. Grow the fuck up. What if your lives were revealed? <clears throat> what if your lives went out there? What if things you said were constantly out there? How would you feel then? What if every single big mouth in your side chat was doxxed? What if every single person in your side chat was blown up? Don't you remember though that just a week or two ago, someone was crying because Someone called them out on a lie. Don't we remember this? I do. And then they wanted a pity party. Poor me, poor me, poor me. I didn't say that. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. And it was proven you did. You didn't like how that felt, did you? Why do you do it to everybody else? Why do you want it? threaten people. Personally, I'd rather be liked than hated. Personally, I'd rather be left alone than judged. I don't know why people are in such a competition. It's not a competition. Anyone that's in a competition has issues. And I really mean that. Um, every single creator does their own thing. Every single creator has their own niche. Every single creator should be in competition with themselves. They shouldn't be worrying what this one's numbers are, what that one's numbers are. I could not tell you if most of the creators that hang out in your chat, I couldn't tell you the first thing about topics 
I couldn't tell you the first thing about their numbers. I couldn't tell you about first thing about their subs. Why? I don't give a fuck. But I bet every single one of them could tell you every single one about mine. I heard it was being said last night. Why do you care? Why are you in competition with me? I don't care about you. I don't care what your numbers are. I don't give a fuck. I don't know why you do. Especially you're getting nine, eight, nine, hundred thousand in a, in a thing. Why do you care about me? I'm just a little old creator. I'm just a little lonely creator. Why am I so important? Steve is another small creator. Why is he so important? Why does he matter? Why do I matter? Why do any of us matter? Find real content. Don't you guys have like better content you could use? I mean, I love my Steve, but he's not really that exciting to go on about for five hours. Just like I'm not really that exciting to go on about for four months, five months. So I just don't get why. I just can't grasp why anyone's so important. Why people's relationships are important to you guys. You guys are not important to anybody. Nobody cares. So do me a favor, stop worrying about what everyone says and does. You're not judge, jury, and executioner. You, you don't have that right. If you believe in God, only God has that right. And believe me, he's not going to like the way you treat people. Um, I did speak to some people about why they say and feel the way they do about St. Jude. And from what I understand is the way people see it is like dirty money. They don't want dirty money. Um... If you raise money illegally, and I'm not saying you're doing it illegally, but if you raise money, if a person raises money illegally, it's not money that they want donated. So if you're raising money by bashing the fuck out of people and being judged jury and executioner, do you really think St. Jude wants that money? Because to me, it's like blood money. Um, I also saw that other people have links right on their homepage. Like, when I went on my cell phone and looked something up, it was Donate St. Jude's right there. Like, you couldn't miss it. How come yours doesn't do that? How come the algorithms aren't picking up St. Jude ads right on your videos? Just something to think about. I don't know why this St. Jude ad came up right on a couple of people's videos. I can only guess it's because they donate to them. So I'm just wondering why they never came up on yours. Just saying. Um, what else? That's pretty much about it. So I just want to stick up for my buddy. Steve has never done anything wrong. Steve's wife is a wonderful lady. Um, Steve is a wonderful person. For you guys to drag him for hours last night because you have no other real content is sad and then at the end of the night you're worrying about me and my numbers that's even sadder so my advice is go get some real content stay the fuck out of people's lives nobody cares about you don't care about them um and that's about it so have a great day guys sign off